Welcome back to Neo 2. Pretty sure we're near the end of the level. That seems pretty foreboding over there. Um, I think we just need to get through this small village first and then we'll be done. What the fuck? That spinning attack is such shit. He just straight up shotgunned me with multiple hits there. I gotta waste more ammunition killing this guy again. There you are. That's it. Okay. I only shot one of those guys last time. I didn't see him the other time. That'll help. Oh, he swung three times. Came in here already. Killed by Karasu Tengu. I remember seeing a Karasu Tengu. Or was there a Karasu Tengu? Hmm. I want to kill this guy. I'm pretty confident I can get him. Do not want Tengu to jump in. does not have real tracking once he's started that move, fortunately. There we go. Ah, oh, that's the Dark Realm. Well, that helps. Okay. Maybe I'll be able to see Tengu a little bit more easily. Is that it? No, it's probably that dark... It's probably that little dark pool right there. Oh, I see you. Killed a bunch of the shooters, so... 
Do not have to worry too heavily. That's a drop. That's a kick down. Just a scythe just sitting here. Terminus Switchglaive. Is that a new weapon, perhaps? It was blue rarity. No. Strong attack damage. Who died here? By Mitsumi Yazura. Okay, he's dead. Oh. Hello. and concerningly silent. There you are. Okay. I wonder if I can find Sudama by rolling into jars. Probably. That is basically like a full Sohaya set. And that right there is probably a boss fight. boss fight. Alright. I want to get up here somehow. That's a kick down. I'm guessing I have to climb up this way somehow, maybe? Who died here? Skeleton warrior. Okay. Oh. There you are. Hi. Was that a prefab? No, okay. I was wondering if that was a prefab death, but no, there's two of them here. Okay. Well, this is just a conspicuous dead end. <gasps> ah. It was a Nurikabe disguised as a wooden wall. How about that? That's kind of cool. My skeleton warrior. Alright, where am I now? Oh, I would def... Oh, okay, it did go somewhere. Alright. I still feel like there's some way I gotta be able to get up here. Okay, so I went through there. I need to find like a ladder. There's gotta be some way up there. Am I just missing something super obvious this way? Oh, just roll down onto the rooftop? Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, 
Okay. Well, how do I get on top of that? Cut down by Karasu Tengu. So that's definitely Karasu Tengu there. Um, really, really hope I don't die to him right now. close, but I did it. <sighs> okay. Pretty sure I only have the boss left. Let's just get some items here. Let's kick this down. Ooh, there's more up there. Okay. Drop down there. Explosive rounds. Cool. Weird place to be here in, like, wolf howls, but I guess they do introduce the dogs here. It's still... It is still ridiculous to think that like, armored dogs have some weird spinning attack and can shoot. It's not keeping with the realism. Okay. What am I missing here? Is this a prefab? That's a prefab. Shiko of the Sohaya. Let's summon you. Okay. Ninja locks. Ooh, nice. Alright. Boss time. Okay. Who we got? Looks like a small arena. Oh, you. Of course it'd be you. Wait, do I have to fight her? Oh, no. Okay, poison. Ow. Oh, hold on. Ooh, did I knock out one of your eyes? Fuck you. I think I did. Uh oh. Oh, motherfucker. Gazuki killed me. That sucks. I don't know what attack he did. I didn't see it. Excuse me. Can I climb up here without getting killed? Well, not really. Hello. Okay. 
we're gonna go this way. Okay. Boss time again. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. I cannot see you very well. Ooh, ding. There we go. What is this? What happened there? Ow! Uh oh, bad stuff. Okay. Oh, you can attack from behind you like a true owl. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dead. Ah, oh, god damn it. You can't block that. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna buy more ammunition. Being able to buy ammunition mid-mission is so helpful. Okay, let's try this again. He resists poison pretty hard. And I have to keep renewing it. Okay, where where is your thing? Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, too late. There you go, poisoned again. And I run out of uh, poison shuriken way too quickly.
Come on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank you. Come on, motherfucker. Okay. You are almost dead. You dead, motherfucker. That was a decent fight. That was a much more traditional fight, too. I like that. Ooh. I was not able to understand what he was saying. Perhaps I need more astral wisdom. Well, that's cool. All right, ninja. Um, oh yeah, still trying to get that. Need to unlock a bunch of shit just to get there. Hold on. There we go. Um, there. Okay. End of mission. Nice. That was a good opportunity to... Try to get me to use my Guardian Spirit skills while I was Yokai. Arguably more significantly, um, that was, like, one of the best possible boss fights, perhaps, to get, uh, ooh. To get Yokai Shift, uh, critical, critical Yokai Shift Dark Realm. Which is what I have something like 33% in. ソハヤの刀が光を取り戻す時、床闇を払い、猛者を清める時来る。この手に残されていた唾が輝く道筋をようやく示した。I got a jellyfish lady guardian spirit. That's kind of weird. The rest were normal animals. That one's a little bit kind of left field. Oh, that lighting is great.
Tokichiro. Okay. Possessed by Yaoname Hime. Yaoname Hime. ついでに家康殿へも家政を求める早生まれ。柄にもない真似を。あれは御味方ですか。綺麗ですね。<笑> That cutscene was a little confusing. Completely disconnected from what we're doing. Alright, I got relax. It looks like, is that a sitting one? Am I able to sit down now? We did it, Hitty. We cut our way through even without those reinforcements. Where in the hell were Mitsuhide and his forces? Well, Lord Nobunaga is safe, and that's all that matters. But don't think we can afford to relax for another second, partner. Lord Nobunaga will be returning to Gifu with M Matsunaga Hisahide's... These names throw me off. Assistance in planning for an immediate counterattack. I still can't quite believe Mumio was Sohaya all along. That's not too surprising. I guess that explains why she was so cold to you with your yokai blood and all. But I'm glad you're finally building bridges. I've got a feeling we'll be needing her help again. Okay, I got Sohaya shit. That's kind of old, old shit. Oh, so sh shoots the spirit stuff. This is just a mass laser attack. Enemy sensor, which is cool. Yokai ability damage corrupted enemy. And melee damage dark realm. Critical yokai shift also. Satari Moke Soul Core. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, it's interesting, but I'm not really super swayed by it, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Now we got some different missions. We got a second mission for that. 63, 62, 62. Learning a lesson. GQ, uh, 63. Petrified Eye, the Shrine of Oaths. The Shiftling's Wise Judgment. Soaring. Oh, that from that. Okay. Oh, finally I can access the hidden tea house. Hold on a second. A way out. I would. I read online that I can't access the hidden tea house towards like a certain like castle mission. This is clearly false. Hidden tea house. Oh, you? Okay. <laughs> Let's take no offense, I have quite a fondness for things out of the ordinary. I can relate. I must admit, though, your sense of style is not quite the sort of thing I, I have fondness for. Onoshiwa 
隔離をにおいてもさまざまなものどもの想念が形をなし。Is, isn't this just a shop for buying emotes? Do we need to, like, have this dialogue? What the hell? Japan of the other world. すでに滅びて久しい武家が勢力を誇っておったりするからの感慨深いわ。Oh, right. Is there like some sort of clan battle thing we can do here? お主も一つこの隔離用の日の元での勢力争いに加わってみぬかお主が関われば一層面白くなりそうな気がするでの。<laughs> I have yet to see any sort of like clan mechanics in a multiplayer game I have ever given a shit about. So, we'll see. Oh, finally I can choose one of these. These usually pop up next to your name when you see a dead, dead player. Um. <gasps> Wait, what? Crest protection. Donate gourd, special reward, small speed. What is going on? I have no idea what a lot of this information means. Um, Guardian spirit skill damage. So if I take these, I'm also going to get these buffs. Extended enemy confusion. Guardian spirit skill damage. I can't look at the rest of that. I gotta donate Conqueror's Armor, and that'll give me five small spirit stones. Special reward. Do I need to do that to join the clan or something? Past records. Last time before last time. I don't know what those images represent. Oda Clan Treasure. I don't know what any of that means. Plan analysis. Oh my goodness. Got lore for all of this too. Oh, these are probably real clans from history, huh? The Kuki clan was a powerful family based in the Shima province, today at Mie Prefecture. Kuki T Yoshitaka is one of its most famous leaders. The clan once served the Kitabataki clan, rulers of the Ise province. They changed when Oda Nobunaga advanced his forces into Ise. Yoshitaka, who was once a commander in the Kumano Navy, aided Nobunaga by building his enormous ships reinforced with iron armor. With these new vessels, they were able to soundly defeat the Mori clan's naval forces that had previously beaten them. The Kuki crest is derived from seven stars, an apt design for the Kuki family. One who must who must have used the stars to navigate their way from across the seas. And they all have little locations indicated too. Oh, that's interesting. I saw someone with this. Increased attack and defense Tanfa plus 20. Dodge key consumption minus 5%. Donate Tanfa. Get a shit ton of money. Okay. The Shou clan was a royal family of the Ryukyu kingdom. Uh, one among its most famous leaders was the Shou and blah, 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 blah. The kingdom's connection to continental Asia led to a thriving cultural exchange, which in turn led to the development of Tanfa-based martial arts, among others. The Shou crest features a comma-like symbol known as a Tomoe. These Tomoe are stylized to resemble a vortex or magatama, comma-shaped jewel-like beads from prehistoric Japan. The Tomoe is often used in crests of prestigious shrines or hachimen, a deity of war. It is said to protect one of the water-related calamities. Okay, so which of these looks really cool? The straight-up X. Kusarigama. 
the Triforce. A lot of these are based on like certain builds, I can see. Damage taken mid-attack, minus 10%. Spear. Imagawa. That's what uh, the lightning dude had on his jacket. If the Ashiga, if the Ashikaga fall, the Kira will be Shogun. If the Kira fall, the Imagawa will be Shogun. Clan exercise control over the provinces of Suruga, Tatomi, Mikawa, blah 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 blah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not too partial about any of these symbols. Um, so let's look at the abilities one by one, because I'm pretty sure we're just choosing a clan right now. So Guardian Spirit skill damage, extended aim and confusion, grit. I don't know what grit does. Gives a chance to prevent death from attacks that would otherwise kill you as long as your health is not already at a critical level. Instead of dying, your health will be reduced to 1. 30%. I don't know what the 30% represents. Because it gives a chance to represent prevent death. Okay, so it's a 30% chance of grit. Medicine, efficacy, critical, plus 30%. That seems good. Donate greater good armor. Okay, so that's that's good. And read a loot bonus, life recovery, and read absorption. I've already got that on my merchant armor. Melee damage with a cross spear specifically. Increased stack of defense, surrounded. Um, Guardian Spirit Skill Consumption, Melee Damage, Ailing Enemy, Ailing Enemy, I think, I'm pretty sure that applies to Poison. I'm not sure if I always want to keep a Poison build though, so that's just something to consider. Let's just currently have a Poison build. Bow Damage, Close Range. Bow Damage, Close Range. Medicine Bursts. Restores an additional amount of health when you use a medicinal item, both for you and for nearby allies. Ah, that's cool. Uh, Thrust damage. Melee damage critical, key recovery critical. Max arrows plus two. Bow damage plus 20%. That's cool. Damage bonus enhanced. Increases melee damage in proportion to the number of status enhancements currently affecting you. Ugh. Hand cannon damage. Lightning damage, plus 10%. Hmm. Key consumption ailing. That definitely goes on lightning build. I don't know what the red and gray is most meant to represent. Some of these have red backgrounds, some of them have gray backgrounds. Bomb damage plus 20%. Melee damage versus strong enemy. Damage halved unscathed. Oh, so if you have max... Is that a, just a chance thing? Halves damage received when you are at full health. Okay. That's kind of cool. Max hand cannon ammo. Switch glaive. Melee damage red demon armor. I think I've seen what red demon armor looks like, but I do... I'm not really interested in that. Pretty sure it's like heavy armor or something. Dispel ailments medicine. Dispels all negative status effects when you use an elixir, medicine, or spectral salve. Sixty-five percent plus one max elixir. That seems really nice. Okay, so that one and that one are the ones I'm looking at. Just general survivability. It says members. Is that how many players are already in the party? Max rifle ammo. Rifle damage. Okay. Efficient yokai abilities. Um... That refunds some of my some of my anima, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Anima charge melee attack. Damage taken online co-op. 
What? <laughs> How do you rationalize that shit? His prodigious skills of combat let him be known as God of War. I have no idea. Damage taken in online co-op minus 10%. That's weird. Nullify damage purification. After performing a purification. Hatchets. Charge attack boost. Yokai ability damage on a saturated enemy. Water attack. That's straight up a water build right there. I, I like that. Um, increased attack and defense sword. Active skill key consumption minus 3%. Melee damage versus unscathed enemies plus 10%. Fire damage. Key recovery unscathed. Defense bonus enemies defeated. Interesting. Increased defense ninjutsu hits. Increased attack and defense. T utensil drop rates. I have not seen have have had any T utensils yet. Silver tongue plus ten percent. Increase the value of items and selling to the blacksmith. Okay. Damage. Barehanded attack damage plus seventy percent. Oh my god, that's a barehanded build. That's that's like essential. Holy shit. Omnia magic power. Bullseye bonus. Okay. Divine Rice drop rate. Ninjutsu power plus 40. Rifle key damage plus 20%. Increased attack and defense. Odachi gold loot bonus. Damage over time minus 33%. High attack, strong attack plus 6%. Heal self and allies melee kill, 60. Increase attack and defense, dual swords, luck. Damage bonus, consecutive attacks. Consecutive attacks. Okay, interesting. Um, increase attack and defense, Tanfa. Poison accumulation enemy. Melee damage versus strong enemy, plus 7%. That seems good. If I'm gonna stick with the poison thing, again, I'm not confident that I will. Melee damage on scale, life drain, ranged weapon hit. Increased attack, 50% key or less. Huh, okay. It doesn't say how much it increases my attack, though. Increased luck, enemy killed. Backstab damage plus 7%, luck critical. Guard key recovery damage taken on skate. Okay, well. Um, grit medicine efficacy. That seems good. 30% chance of basically surviving. Like It's basically 30% tenacity from Dragon's Dogma. And then there's this. Which allows me to still... I feel like grit. Grit seems really good. You cannot change your allegiance offline. Clans... You cannot change your allegiance offline. Okay, so once I choose this, it's going to be stuck on my offline character until I connect back online again. Well, this is a fine generic one that would work decent on any character, so... Clans you are allied to are managed at the player account. Okay. Donate greater good armor. Get Mujina's scarf. Okay. Sure, let's take Tokugawa. Do you want to pledge allegiance to Tokugawa? Sure. Clan battle information is being updated. Clan battle report. I want to know more. Oh my goodness. Clans. Joining a clan lets you participate in their weekly clan battle and claim the rewards. 
You'll also receive the special boon of your clan's crests. The more you contribute during clan battles, and the longer you stay in the clan, the greater the effects of the crest boon will be. Uh, so the stuff I agreed to only works partially? Clans are managed at the player account. Note that they are not included in save data. I don't know what that means. Crest boons affect all save data linked to your account. It's, it's linked to my PSN as opposed to... So it's linked to my PSN. It's not specific to my character, is what they're saying. Okay. Clan battles. Clans are divided into red and white camp. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, which compete to see who can earn the most glory, and therefore the highest score, over the course of a week. The winning camp receives most of the glory as a reward. The more members a clan has, the less each individual member receives. Makes sense. Also, if your performance is spectacular enough to top the rankings, the glory you need to trade for items during trading will be temporarily reduced. Okay. Calculating results takes time, therefore there may be a delay when updating your score, rank, or glory in rankings. Clan battles can be attained one per... Sorry, what was that last bit? Clan battle rewards can only be obtained once per player account. Okay. Glory is earned mostly by playing online in expeditions random encounters, and so on. I got plenty of that, I think. If you are in a clan, the glory you earn while online is added to your camp's score. Glory you earn while offline does not contribute to your camp score. Okay, so I'm glad that you can earn glory offline. I wasn't sure if that was possible. I'm glad that you can earn glory offline and use it to spend on ostensibly this, uh, the emotes or whatnot. I know you can buy emotes with glory. That's my impression of this. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure how much of what I've already earned is actually going towards that, because I earned a lot online already. Glory can be exchanged for special items during trading. Yep. You can claim rewards for clan battles held up to two weeks ago. The battle before the current one and the one before that. Note that rewards from clan battles earlier that cannot be claimed. Only glory can be claimed as reward. Only glory can be claimed as... Okay. Changing allegiance. You can leave your current clan and join a new one. To change your clan, you must be online. Makes sense. If you change clans when a clan battle is almost over, the rewards you claim for that battle will be reduced. Additionally, you cannot change clans more than once every eight hours. Okay. You can also defect from a clan, leaving you without any allegiances. To pledge to another clan, you will first have to wait eight hours and need to be online. Eight hour thing seems arbitrary, but I'm sure there's I'm sure there's a reason for why they want to stagger that out. Trading. You can trade glory for items. Trading glory for items does not reduce your camp's clan battle score. Okay, I was wondering about that. The glory the amount of glory needed for an item might increase depending on how many times you have made the trade before and other factors. Okay, transforming. You can change your appearance to that another character. So this is skins. When in the guise of another character, your appearance won't change even if you equip different armor. Transformed appearances can be used online. However, only William's appearance will be shown in certain situations. Just straight up first reference to William in the game. He's just assuming I know what the fuck he's ta I'm ta we're talking about. Who the fuck is William? You will obtain various characters' appearances as you proceed through the missions in the game. We're like... We're in the third of six regions, as far as I'm aware. You can obtain glory by donating items to your allied clan. If you donate items that fulfill certain conditions, you will earn sp certain special rewards. Ah, yes. Okay. What, so I need, like, the greater good armor or something? Donations will also add a bonus to your membership duration in your allied clan and raise your protection bonus faster. The glory you can earn by donating items will gradually increase, but it will reset at the start of the next clan battle. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Let's offer up utensils you have not yet had assessed. I, I need to assess tea utensils, I find. As far as I'm aware, they're just items you can get to set up in your hut. What purpose do they serve? Change which clan you're allied with. Okay, trade. Herbal remedy, blah, 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 blah. Petrified eye. Okay, so some, uh, yeah, some Mujina's scarf. Oh, okay. I thought that was like an equip item. Book of Reincarnation. Nice. But that'll also increase it. Zen Manual. All prestige titles you've acquired up to now will be reset. I heard that there was some sort of manual that you could get to also reset your prestige titles. I'm glad that that's a thing. Oh, Choco Cup. Okay. I like that. Okay. Transform into a revenant. A, a, a slightly different revenant. Saito Dosen. Imagawa Yoshimoto. Hachisuka Kuroku. Momio. Senji Toyo. Tokichiro. Okay. Momio is by far the most expensive. And... I'm kind of annoyed by that. Not because I like her at all. In fact, I don't. I think she's a boring, boring ass character. But that... For her to be by far the most expensive... Like, these two girls. These two girls are by far the most expensive. All the guys... All the guys are like nothing. They got some weird arbitrary price for the revenants for some reason. But then Mumio is just straight up 10,000. Why? Is it because it's the waifu character? It's the waifu character and so there's like an excessive demand for her? What the hell? Masterpieces. You're about to obtain an uncommon or rare sword at random. On rare occasions you may even obtain exotic equipment. Oh. That could actually be really nice. This could actually be nice for leveling. Gestures. Here we go. So clap, Kodama dance. Kodama dance? Don't I already have that? Oh no. Why? Bye. Harakiri? <laughs> Sit cross-legged. Yeah, I want that. Stifle a laugh. I come in peace. Kuroda dance. Kuroda dance. I want to get Harakiri. This is going to look fun. Dojo greeting. Hide. Sure. Box step. Skip, chest slap, straight punch, sob. Sure, we'll take sob. Hanging scrolls, okay. Oh, so I'm just choosing what character appears on the scroll behind me? That's awful strange. I'm going to be super picky about this. <laughs> okay. Sure, let's pick one of these. Oh my gosh, so many. Okay. Heart, Technique, Valor, Curse, Pure, Flame. Buddha, the Gods. Oni, Evil, Karma, Light, Death, Darkness. Land, Humanity, Dragon, Ryu. Uh, quaintness. Quaintness. Nirvana, Tragic Death, Special Technique. Yen and Yang. 
And we'll just take that. Sincerity, blah, 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 blah. Affection, nothingness. Carnation, ephemeral, heaven and earth. Thunder and lightning, channel buoys. Channel buoys. It's kind of weird. I am body and soul, way of the warrior, life saving blade, superhuman strength. Ritual mantra, blah, 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 four heavenly kings, conviction. Uh, miser, Akitsu Island. Seems random. Egocentric, unparalleled, old fashioned. Actions speak louder than words. Perseverance breeds success. Suddenly we're just into idioms now. Darkest before the dawn. Don't die in vain. Mind like a blade. Natural harmony. Try, try again. Path of sincerity. Mind like a mirror. The universe. Man, that's a... That's a lot of characters just to say the universe. Everything that exists within the realm of human experience and beyond. Let's take that one too. Quick as lightning, no no fire, body and soul, open minded, form of emptiness. Survival of the fittest. How many people took that unironically, I wonder? Okay. Cool. It appear that you have a tea utensil. Oh, do I? Everyone's hunting for tea utensils. We'll need to get it appraised. <laughs> I love the zoom in. <laughs> the fuck is this stupid crap? You got cheap shit. <laughs> Here you go. Fuck you. Tenmoku. Splendor, simplicity, eccentricity. What? This type of tea bowl is distinguished by its indented mouth, known in Japanese as a snapping turtle mouth. Why do I care about the splendor, simplicity, or eccentricity of a goddamn bowl? What the fuck? What is this madness? Clan battles. Receive past rewards. Donate. Daily special reward. Amulets of camaraderie. Donate head armor. Tea set tenmoku. Eugenia scarf. Tokugawa is 19th, apparently. Toyotomi is most popular. Uh, okay. Red is winning substantially. Well, I'm red, I guess. Okay. I want to see what Toyotomi is, real quick. Come on, Toyotomi. Here we go. Amrita loot bonus, 10%, life recovery, Amrita absorption. I mean, I thought Grit was cooler, but you can see by the number of members, there's lots of people in that one. Okay. Well, I'll end it off here. I'm not sure if there's any clan battles I can join, but thanks for watching.